Greetings. I've asked a special guest to join us tonight. He has no legs, so please be patient. Okay. Your kindest welcome for Zero, who is so very zen-like, he is often invisible. Contemplating his perfectly round Buddha belly. Zero and I have been passing time sharing philosophy, arguing. I say he takes on some pretty iffy jobs. He says he just is. Zero. Others force meaning and mayhem onto his rounded shoulders. Take zero calories, for instance. Calories are a measure of energy, of life. So zero calories, death. Zero coke, anyone? Zero got a job in government? I am so proud. It's a good pay, good pension, standard government work, though. He's a slogan in a campaign that replaces real action with sophistry. Zero tolerance. Let's in bullying now. And his biggest gig to get to date? International fame and fortune. Ground zero. A wound to the elitist pride of America. A triumph for her enemies. Eventually a hat trick to subdue a nation. Zero was here in this room a few weeks ago. That was him in the corner. Boldly declaring the worth of a poem. Zero, fragrant with disdain. Zero, for lyrical humor. For a satire on the quintessential UBC fool wasting daddy's money on 420 bombs, strippers, and lost classrooms. And in the end, zero for one of the winning poets of the evening. I began to think of Zero as the bully for hire, and Zero chock full of mayhem. I imagine the horror of my own spoken word, being judged by former lovers, radical femmes, those who don't like foul old ladies. <laughs> Every week, the men see used to say, until now, the washrooms are gender neutral. If you see someone you think doesn't belong, it's you who are mistaken. Could poetry judging be gender neutral too? And political, and age, and whatever, neutral. And that's neutral, by the way, not neutered. So that if we are triggered, it is we who are mistaken. Good and bad poetry exists and should be judged as such. Triggers exist in us all as well. I went home and looked up fistfuck after listening to another poet on another evening. I'm not sure where it is right now. <laughs> okay, this is not my cup of tea. Okay, poem though. This is what I learned from zero. Prejudice, prejudge, conclusion before the event. Let us not use our prejudice to judge the poet, thank him or her for showing us that we have them. Use our prejudice to judge ourselves. I like to say that again. Use our prejudice to judge ourselves. Zero and I thank you.